What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex. You and you're watching The Road to Beast Wars. This is just a web series. We're talking about the production of Transformers Rise of the Beast. This is episode number 45. And in this episode, we're going to talk about some new CG renders of the Maximals and a couple of Autobots. There's a promotion going on between Transformers Rise of the Beast and the Taronga Western Plains Zoo in Australia. And I don't know very much about it, except that when you walk around the zoo, you will see images promo images of uh, Transformers Rise of the Beast, uh, specifically um, in the form of the Maximals and some information about uh, the animals that they represent. So that's very, very cool, especially for Transformers fans in Australia who can make their way to the Taronga Western Plains Zoo. But for us fans who are not in Australia, who can't get there, at least we get to check out some new CG renders of the characters. So let's just check them out. So first of all, we got this brand new logo. It's about the same. It's got the same font of Transformers Rise of the Beast. But what I really like about it is the flames coming up from the bottom. It must represent something like maybe that, uh, um, well, we do know that from the back of the box of the Bumblebee, the off-road Bumblebee, well, there's a volcano showdown. So this could represent the, the lava. You know what I'm saying? So that's very cool. Now let's check out this image which shows um, the Autobots with the Maximals together. We got Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, and uh, a little bit of um, Cheetor, and Optimus Primal in the back. Now, I I don't know if that's like totally to scale. No, that's definitely not totally to scale. Uh, they just mishmashed a bunch of characters together. But before we talk about the Maximals, let's just talk about the Autobots. Optimus Prime does not look... Maybe it's just the angle and uh, the way that uh, his... Um, He's kind of leaning forward or it's like the cameras, I mean the, yeah, it's like a top, it's like a front slash top view of Optimus Prime or the way he's leaning down. That doesn't look like the same Optimus Prime that we've seen in the, in, in the teaser trailer. It just looks slightly different. I know the window, like the, the, the windshield panels are still there and they're really, really huge. And I think it's just that the fact that it's at this angle that it looks different. So um, I'm not saying it looks better or worse, it just looks different. But maybe it's just the same one, we're just not used to seeing him at that angle. We're used to seeing a, like a, a, where we are a slightly lower than Optimus Prime, but we've never seen him at this angle where we're exposed to so much red on his shoulders, right? So that's very, very interesting. We got Bumblebee in the back. Uh, it, it's in his old, um, I mean, his 90s, I mean, his 70s Camaro mode. And he's kind of like in a lunging attacking mode. Now, if you look in the next image, um, it's him in the same same pose, but it looks like he's uh, they mirrored the image. So he's now this way or, or that way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but now we get a better look at Optimus Prime. And, you know, I think that maybe it's just the angle, but we do have more from this angle. He looks a little bit more normal. Because we do see a bit more meat on his sides compared to before. But maybe it's just the angle. But, I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good at this angle. So, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way he looks. But maybe this is like an old CG rendering of, of Optimus Prime. So, that's why it looks better. But in the teaser, you know, it looks off. <clears throat> Definitely more silver on him. This one's got more red and we get to see more blue. Now, um, in this version of the image, the promo image, we do not see Cheetor, but we get a full shot, a nearly full shot that isn't covered by Optimus of, of, of Optimus Primal. And, you know, it's not too much different from what we've seen before in uh, some other pre, uh, promo images, like, for example, that Optimus Primal mask. I'm sure that this is the exact same image that was used where he's like, you know, King Kong style beating his chest, roaring. So it looks pretty cool. But what you get to see is more of his, his full body. And you get to see the, um, <clears throat> the different sections on his chest and his abs. So that's a lot more detail. Now let's take a look at um, another image. Uh, let's see here. I want to see more of... Uh, okay. So this is a more higher resolution image and you can see the, the beast, I mean the Maximals logo on Optimus Primal's chest. Uh, you definitely see more of the details on his face. Wow, that's a lot of detail. <laughs> Very mechanical looking. But what I re really like is that it's, it's a really good blend of a me mechanical like robot parts and metal and 
organic parts. Like the the um, the textured skin or the his like um his armor or um carapace or if you will. Um so it's very very um it's a very good combination of organics and metal. Let's take a look at Cheetor. He's kind of crouching down ready to pounce. Let's see if there's another image here. Oh, okay, check this out. This, this is an image where Cheetor is just kind of looking over. And what I like about this, just like um, Optimus Primal, once again, you see all the different parts. You see how there's different layers to them. There's, you know, it's almost like the, 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 the yellow panels on his body are like, they're like scales even. Like, that's a really cool detail. And then there's a bit of silver on him. And then the fur. So it is very cool how they were able to incorporate um, both. Uh, I'm looking at this other image now. It's cool that they incorporate uh, uh, metal and organics. Like I love seeing the fur on him. Uh, it's just a very, you know, it, look, they could have done it in, in one of three ways. They could have made him all fur and just talking like, um, like in the cartoon, Beast Wars. They could have made him all metal parts, so he's a fully mechanical um, cheetah, but they did a combination of both, which I kind of like. I think it's it's a very good homage to Beast Wars. So, like, I mean, look at that. Look at the fur on his, on his sides and under his uh, arms. That's really cool. I think that's a really, really cool looking like representation of Cheetor. Let's look at Rhinox. Um, Rhinox is a white rhinoceros. This powerful pachyderm is thick-skinned, as he should be. I mean, he's got that armor there uh, all over. It's not a whole lot of lines on him compared to, um, uh, 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 what is it, uh, Optimus Primal and Cheetor. Mainly because, well, he's got no fur on him. Uh, but still like the way he looks, like he's kind of like a tank with a giant horn. Because this is, Rhinox is going to be a full-on brute force. And uh, he looks really awesome. Look at that. And even even if you look at him up close, like in this up close image, you can see the texture on his skin to kind of showcase that he still looks kind of organic. It's just the different the the, the various panels that cover that make up his body that make him look like a robot. Finally, let's take a look at Air Razor. Very very cool. Uh, once again, organics and metal, but this time, instead of fur, it's feathers. We got the scaly armor, uh, the metal, and then if you look closely, you can see that it's got a feather-like design. It, it, um, it's not really feather-like in the sense that they look like actual feathers, but at least the design of it looks like feathers. And uh, man, I'm really, really happy with, like these are some of the best images we've seen of the Maximals. And I'm really happy with the way they all look. Um, and I'm definitely going to get them all as toys uh, because I've never owned any uh, beasts before because I'm, I'm not originally a fan of Beast Wars. But this is going to make me a fan of, of the beast in some form or another. So very, very cool. These are your four Maximals. Check out these amazing CG renders of them. They look really, really good. And I don't think I could ask for more. I, actually, yes, I can. I wish I, I, I wish we got to see more, a full image of Rhinox. And we will get that eventually. But for now, this is what we got. And I'm very, very happy with the way they look. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the toys. And I'm looking forward to seeing more CG renders of the Maximals. And, of course, more of them in action in future upcoming trailers and, and video promo clips, all right? Very, very cool. Check those out. What do you guys think of the Maximals? Which one is the best looking one? I gotta say that Cheetor comes first, Air Razor second, like as in like the ones that I'm most interested in, Rhinox, and then Optimus Primal, okay? I like them all, but I like them all differently. I'm most curious about Rhinox and, and how he's actually gonna transform. Uh, in the At the end of it all, I'm very excited to see brand new uh, characters, uh, good guy characters, or any characters in general, but Maximals is going to be a really, really cool um, uh, concept. And I want to see that introduction of the Maximals to the Autobots and the humans. I think that would be very, very cool. Remember the introduction or the uh, uh, arrival to Earth? Like, we're going to get a version of that for the Maximals. So, <laughs> be ready.
That's going to be something epic. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.